So who's watching the Apple event live right now? Well, I'm gonna pause this before I get copyright or actually I'm gonna keep it going just cause I wanna make sure that I stay up to date with what is going on, but the market is literally selling off right now. And I'm not too sure if this is something uh, that a lot of people anticipated. Uh, to me, it doesn't come at much of a surprise because Apple just continues to release. I mean, they're infamous for this, right? Where like, or notorious for this. I don't know what term you wanna use, uh, but it's like the same thing year after year and Michael and I were just talking right now and he was like, it's literally just the new chip, but the, uh, the same chip, but they call it something different. And regardless of what they say, I mean, I'm getting the iPhone 12 and I've been waiting for it. And although I still think the demand is going to be there, I just don't think Apple has ever really surprised people when they like release a new phone with, you know, uh, really innovative, you know, just technology. It, it's they keep it very simple, and that's what they're known for, and they're the best at it. They're you know a trillion dollar company for a reason. Because of this, what what's happening with Apple? Well, you guys can see there's a lot of volatility right now. You know, with Apple as of right now, it's aggressively selling off. It's aggressively you know picking right back up. It's aggressively pulling back. And because of this, it's not that I anticipated or that like oh man, I knew Apple was going to crash, so I went into SQs. It's no, especially because I have a big focus on trading TQs and SQs. Uh, they have a big focus on the overall tech industry. And like we saw yesterday, due to the anticipation, the market pushed up yesterday so consistently because, well, they, it was Apple. Apple was having an amazing day yesterday. Expectations are not met. We begin to see pullbacks. And this is why I jumped back in into SQs. It's not that I'm up a crazy dollar amount. I'm actually not up very much. I'm up $250 on the position, but it's where I see the market going because Apple is so consistently selling off and it doesn't have to continue this way as the conference continues. It just makes sense, especially as we began to see an aggressive drop right at market open. And although it was trying to recover, you then begin to see that Apple was then making lower lows and lower highs. And it wasn't that direction was super, super clear, but you knew that volatility was present as again, literally, if I'm not mistaken, 2.5 million people are watching the live conference on YouTube alone, which is crazy, right? And I'm one of those 2.5 million and maybe many of you guys are. And although I think that that, that is great, um, I think that we can still continue to make these lower lows and lower highs and only time will tell. I'm gonna have to make sure that I do a really good job managing my risk just in case they announce anything and it shoots Apple up. I will most likely see SQs pull back as it has such a crazy effect um, on the overall market and it does there's no other way to put it if you guys look into why the market pushed up so consistently yesterday one of the main reasons is because apple was doing so well which drove the price up of nasdaq i mean apple has a trillion dollar market cap uh so it makes sense i'm very excited to follow up with it i didn't want to overcomplicate it one of the things that while i'm filming this one of the things i need to take into consideration is i need to watch my position size because if things do quickly begin to go south for me because my position size right now is a little bit more on the aggressive side I'm gonna have to cut back on my position size. So if we begin to see Apple push back up, just know that I'm probably gonna close um, maybe a little bit over half of my position and then just let the rest ride. If Apple ends up making new lows, then this will most likely lead for SQs to making new highs. But right now, we're still doing a decent job trading above the middle VWAP, uh, but only time will tell. So let me know in the comment section what you guys think about the uh, Apple conference so far. Uh, I think the biggest announcement that they've been able to share that really shifted it pulled back the overall market is that the new iPhone 12 will have 5G, right? A standard across all boards uh, when it comes down to the four different devices that they plan to offer, which is exciting news, but it's something that everyone pretty much anticipated. That did help the market recover very quickly. So if we go to forward slash NQ, the market was first selling off, it recovered very quickly, and then it just sold right back off again. So this is something that you have to pay a lot of attention to. One of the things that I want to remind you is Please, if you are if you don't do well with this volatility, because there's no question that volatility is super present right now because of how much attention it's getting due to the Apple conference, take the day off. There's no other way to put it. Either watch your position size or take the day off. What do I plan to do if Apple continues to pull back? Is it the end of the world? No, I literally will plan to only buy more of Apple as I think that if there's any negative catalyst that can temporarily drive the price down, 
I am all for that as again, my intention is not to day trade Apple, it's to invest in it long term. So you guys can share your plan down in the comment section. If Apple were to continue to sell off, would you consider buying more or are you done with it and cutting losses and moving on to something else? Regardless of what you decide to do, I wish you guys nothing but the best. I simply wanted to share my plans and my intentions on both the day trading side with TQs and SQs, but also, of course, on the investing side, especially during a time where there is so much volatility right now. So if you're a beginner and you don't do well with risk management and it continues to change directions and the inconsistency is frustrating you and bringing out the emotions, then I think that's a great sign of maybe it's time to walk away or reduce your position size so it doesn't bring out so much of your emotion. But uh, I'm gonna get back to the Apple conference. It looks like uh, they're announcing a couple new features uh, for the cameras. And who thinks that the new cameras looks like, a, uh, it looks like our stove. Uh, I don't know if you guys can agree, but it looks like our stove because they have so many cameras now. And even my current phone has two cameras, but I only know how to use one of them. So uh, we'll, we'll see. But I really do appreciate you guys' time. I wish you guys nothing but the best. I hope that we earned your thumbs up. Make sure to comment your thoughts down in the comment section. And we will see you tomorrow live at Market Open. If you guys want to join us for our live trading session, just make sure you click the second link down below. And I'll see you when the market opens. Until next time, like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy, team.